Today I'm going to show you how to use a square. Um, because where I work, I was working with this apprentice and for the life of me, he did not know how to use a square properly. And it didn't matter how much you told him, you, you, you tell him, oh, you've got to use it this way. You've got it. This, the reason why you, the reason why your work isn't coming out the way you should is because you're not, your square isn't marking properly. Oh, but the, but the square does the job. The tool does the job. It's like, yes, but you're also using the tool with other tools and they have to work in tandem in order to work properly, right? Uh, now, say for example, with this square here, let's take this to about 10, let's take it to about 20 mils, right? We want to take this to 20 mils, okay? Now, that there is basically right on the 20 mil line, right there at the edge of the square. So ideally, this face here should be zero point, this face here should be 20 mils, okay? Now, let's take this off cut of wood and we're going to use this edge of this, this side of the square to mark 20 mils along this block, right? So say for example, that there's 20 mils. We want to make, we want to mark that square. Actually, we don't want to mark it square that way. What's the point in having the market that way? Because we've already got 20 mils along here, right? So we bring our square just up to here, right? It's right along that line. We take our pencil. And what do we have here? Well, the line isn't marking up with the dot. As far as I was concerned, that there's the 20 mils. So what's going on here? Why is the line all the way out here? Well, let me demonstrate for people who don't seem to understand, including this apprentice that I work with. This here is your work surface. This here is the edge of your square. This here is your pencil. And the edge of the pencil comes to a taper like this, right? So that there would be the tip of your pencil, that there's your fancy little frilly bits, and your watsies that come up this way, that there's the edge of your square, the edge of the square is bumping up just at the bevel right here, okay? So upon you marking 20 millimeters along this plane here, you're gaining measurements between the edge of your square and the tip of your pencil. What you have to do is try to work out which is quite simple, really, um, is the line that you mark with your 20 mil, uh, with the other side of your square is the line that you work with. Don't rely on this part unless, of course, don't rely on this part unless, of course, you're trying to measure, say, for example, I want to measure the distance between this point and this point here, right? That there is 11 millimeters, right? And I just dropped my phone. <clears throat> right? This thing here is 10, 15 millimeters, right? So let's go 15 mil, right? And we want to make something that's about 15 mil. So in order for that there to sit properly somewhere, right? So the same thing, we come along, we, we come along, we mark out 15 mil, say from there, then we use this edge of the square. We don't use this face here, right? We can even flip the square over. So the greater surface area is across this surface area just and what we do is we make sure that the ed, that the tip of the pencil the drawing surface of the pencil is on that line and now when we go to have a look at our mark it is exactly where we want it to be so please for all that is sacred in the world of crafting Learn that your square is only as accurate 
as your tool you use it with. 